Hey guys, welcome back to the first video of Easy Food series. I hope that you are doing well to start building this project with me. In today's video, we are going to start building Easy Food and we are gonna start with the main activity. If you don't watch the introduction video of Easy Food, you should watch it so you know what we are about to build. If you wanna watch it, just click on the exclamation mark on the top corner of this video. Then get back and start with this video. So without any further to go, go to Android Studio and let's create a new project. Go to File and then go to New and click on New Project. Now choose Empty Activity and click on Next. Now choose the name of your project. In my case, I will choose Easy Food. Now you can change your package name and choose Kotlin. Then the minimum SDK you can leave it and now click on Finish. And wait some time until the Gradle project sync is done. Alright, so before we start, let's set up some few settings. Now go to your manifest and now because we want to connect to the internet and get some data from the internet we need to allow the internet permission. So here I'm gonna write users permission and give the internet permission. And one more thing I'm gonna allow this property because sometimes you will get error when you connect to your internet so you need to provide this enable it to true. And now open your rest file go to values themes and choose the first theme in here we are going to change this theme change it to light no action bar and now we need to change some colors so now go to colors file and change this to primary and put this value and the purple 700 change it to accent and put the same value. We are going to change it from the code, so don't worry about this. Now go back to themes and change these colors because we already changed the name. So in here we're gonna change the name of purple 500 to primary and this is gonna be the accent one. Also go to the themes, to the second theme for the night mode and change it. Here change it to accent or actually you can put anything because we are not going to implement the night theme. So you can put anything you want in here. Alright, let's go back to colors. We need to add one more color that we are going to use in our design. So here we are gonna add a new color like that. And I'm gonna name it G black. Now close this and give this. Now close this and give it this value. Now we're done with these few settings. Now let's go to the main activity. And now open the activity main XML file. So first of all, let me delete this. And make sure that you are using constraint layout. Now we are going to use navigation component. If you don't know what navigation component, it's so simple. Basically navigation component will replace your activities with the fragments. So instead of having three activities, one for home and one for favorites and one for categories we're going to have only one activity that has three fragments and this approach is useful because it will save more battery life than creating multiple activities and the implementation of navigation component is very easy so first thing go to your browser and search about navigation component dependency and now uh, and now click on the search on the first search result and scroll down a little bit until you find the dependencies in here. We are going to use Kotlin dependencies, so you copy them and get back to Android Studio. And now open the Gradle script, go to the build Gradle, the second one, and paste what you copied here. Now I want to tell it that this is navigation component. And we need to add this variable, so go back to here and copy it and paste it again. Now click on sync now. Now go back to the activity main XML file. Now as we said we are going to have one activity with multiple fragments. So we need to have a fragment in here that's gonna take all the screen. So here we are going to create a fragment view. The second one. And now it's gonna take 0 dB for the width and 0 dB for the height. And when you give a zero to the width or to the height, it means it will take the available space. But you need to provide constraints with this. So let's add the constraints. We are gonna add four constraints from start and from the end and top and bottom. So start start with the parent 
and end end also with the parent top top with the parent now leave it that way and let's create the bottom navigation now bottom navigation is going to take the all width so it's going to be match parent and the height is going to be wrap content now let's add the constraints from the start to the start of the parent also end to the end of the parent and bottom to the bottom of the parent all right now one more constraint for the fragment view is with this bottom navigation before adding the constraint let's add an id i'm gonna name it bottom navigation bottom nav now add the constraint in here the constraint is from the bottom of the fragment view to the top of the bottom navigation so i'm so i'm gonna write bottom top and provide the id of bottom navigation as you can see it took the available space of all the screen all right that's cool now we need to create the navigation graph so go to erase file right click on it and go to new android resource file and then choose navigation now name it nav graph and click on ok in here we are going to have the fragments the first fragment is home and second fragment is favorites meals and third fragment is the categories of the meals to create fragments click on this button and now create a new destination now choose empty fragment and click on next the first one is home fragment now click on finish create another one for favorites and the last one for categories Alright, so as you can see, we have home, we have favorites, and we have categories. We have these three fragments that we are going to design and implement. I'm going to change the text in each one of them, and go to each XML file and change the text. So this is going to be the home fragment, and this one for favorites. And this one is for categories. Alright, now go back to the activity main XML file and we need to link this fragment with our nav graph. So how to do that? In here you need to write this. You need to write app and these two dots, then nav graph equals and then add navigation nav graph. So this one is the same one we just created. And one more thing you need to add is the name, the name property. So here you write name and you need to give it this name. And I will leave this name in the description. Now one more thing we need to add to the bottom navigation is the buttons in the bottom. So the way to do that is by creating a menu. Let's go to rest file and new. Now Android resource file. Now create a menu like that. Let's name it bottom menu. Click on OK. Now go to split mode. Before adding the items, we need three icons. One icon for home and one icon for favorites and one icon for categories. So click on drawable and new, then vector asset, and then search about home. This is the icon we are going to use. Click on it and now change its name to home. Click next and finish. The second icon for favorites and the last icon for categories okay now let's add the three items the first item as we said is going to be the home item so the title is going to be home and icon home the second item is going to be for the favorites
and the icon is favorites. The last icon is for the categories. And icon is category. Alright, we're not done yet. We need to provide the ID. The ID we need to provide is the same ID in the nav graph. So the ID of home fragment in here, you need to take it and paste it in here. And now for the favorites, go back and favorites, go back to the nav graph and take the ID of favorites fragment and paste it in favorite item. Now the same thing for categories, go to the nav graph, take the ID of the categories fragment and paste it in uh, the category item. All right, now we're done with this menu. Now go back to activity main XML file. And now we need to link this bottom navigation with the menu we just created. So here you write menu and add this menu. So you're supposed to see all the icons, all the items we added in the bottom navigation here. And one last thing we forgot to do is providing this fragment an ID. So here you need to give an ID for this fragment. So give it an ID like that or any, or any ID you want. It doesn't matter. Now let's preview our app. So as you can see, here's the bottom navigation and here is the fragment. But when we switch between the items, uh, the, the text here doesn't change. So to do that, we need to add some Kotlin code. Go to your main activity and now we need to inflate our bottom navigation and set up the bottom navigation with the navigation controller. So how to do that? In here, you need to inflate the bottom navigation as we said. And now we need to inflate the navigation controller. So here you write value nav controller equals navigation dot find nav controller. And now this constructors take the activity. The activity is this. Also, it takes the ID of our host fragment. Now we need to set up the navigation controller with the bottom navigation. The way to do that is by typing navigation UI dot setup with nav controller and this constructor will take the bottom navigation and the nav controller. Now everything is ready and it should work fine. Let's test our app. So as you can see, this is the home fragment. If I go to favorites, as you can see, the favorite fragment states show. That means uh, we are now in favorite fragment. Also the same thing for categories. Now everything is ready for the main activity. We will start implementing the home fragment in the next video. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. And see you in the next video.